Well, to start manufacturing our solar panel, we will need the following elements. Some aluminum foil used in food that we can have in the kitchen of our house. We will need a piece of PVC pipe of 2 cm in diameter and 48 cm long approximately. We will need a roll of transparent adhesive type, a piece of wood, two screws, two washers, a piece of cable with terminals to be able to remove the power cable from the solar panel, and 15 used CDs. These CDs have a color as well as purple. These are the CDs that we are making our invention with. This type of CD that is here does not work. This does not work because these CDs have an essential component to make our solar panel, which is silicon. Silicon is a semiconductor that is what will help us creating our solar panel. So these are the ones that work. These don't. We will also need this photo frame or printing frame or whatever you want to call it. It can be disassembled, it has a removal frame and wooden vac. Now we are going to start manufacturing our solar panel. We will start by turning the frame over. This is very easy to disassemble. If it's pressed down, these tabs are moved to the side and it is very easy to disassemble. And now, on this wood, we will begin to mount our solar panel. Next, with a piece of pipe, we will make the support to put the solar panel inclined at 45 degrees. We will make this support with this wood, making a joint, and with this piece of pipe, so that it rests against the ground. In this way, it will have stability and we can place it at 45 degrees in the direction of the sun. We mark where it will go to make the holes. Now we have to take into account that we have to place the CDs. We have five CDs to mark the position. Now we put two more CDs so that it is centered. The position is this because in this CD you have to make a little hole. We will do it here. We remove all of this. Keep in mind that this frame measures 40 cm by 60 cm. With this, we will generate approximately 12 volts, ok? We will have a 12 volt solar panel because we take into account that each high silicon city will generate about 0 0.8 volts. We mark here one, here another, and here another, and now we can start drilling this. We leave it there, and now we are going to drill the three holes. Ok, we already have the three holes to be able to screw the support piece from the back, but first of all, we are going to touch up this piece a little. Now we will make uh, another hole in the center of these two holes, but first we will make a hole here and a slot. Now we are going to hit the end of this tube with a blow torch to be able to flatten it. We tighten it and let it cool down. We remove all the clips to hold the frame and now we have to put aluminum foil on the surface. Uh, 
and now we stick it with a transparent adhesive tape. We already have our base prepared, and now... Now we are going to screw the bracket plug from the leg to the rear. Now we screw the plug at the rear. And we have to make the hole to pass the cable from one side to the other. Here is a hole. We puncture that hole with a screw and screw the negative cable. And here goes the positive cable screw with the CD, but we will do that later. Now we have to make the conductive tracks that go on top of the CDs. We cut a 60 cm piece of paper, which is the length of the solar panel that we are going to manufacture. We must cut it into three pieces. But first, we are going to cut the other 40 cm piece, which is what our solar panel measures. 40 cm. And we cut it into two pieces. And now we fold it Así. So we already had these two, and now it is in three pieces. And we already have the three 60 cm conductors and two 40 cm conductors. Now we mark a hole through which the cable will come out. And now we have to pass the cable through the tube. Once the cable is passed, we have to put the screw to fix the tube to the piece of wood. Now, at the end of the cable, we will put a strip to connect the cables. And now we start to put the CDs. First, this one with the hole. We also have to put the electrode that we have manufactured. And on that electrode, we put the screw with the washer.
we already have our positive pole and our negative pole below. Here we can see in detail how the negative pole is cut with the aluminum foil by the bottom of the CD below. So negative below and the positive pole is attached to the aluminum foil at the top of the CD and thus through the wood. Now we have to start placing the other CDs. And we begin to glue the CDs with hot glue only in the center. We place them well centered and apply hot glue. All the CDs are already fixed. Now the only thing missing is we need to put the electrodes from the top to communicate with each other. Once we have this, we have to put transparent adhesive tape so that the electrodes of the positive cable make good contact with the silicone layer of the series. Perfect. Since we have already created our 12 volt solar panel. Now we are going to put the glass protector and its aluminum frame. Well, here we have our aluminum frame with its glass and we are going to assemble the solar panel. It is already assembled. Well, here we have our solar panel finished and ready to put it to the test. Now we will go to the street to a sunny place so you can see how well it works. <laughs> this is wonderful. A 12 volt solar panel measuring 60 centimeters for 40 centimeters to transport it in your car, in your motorhome, on vacation, or wherever you want. Well, friends, now we are going to put our solar panel to the test. Today is a sunny day, and we are going to check that it actually gives us a voltage of 12 volts. As you can see, when connecting the voltmeter, the voltage it gives us is 12.5 volts, and if I disconnect it, it goes to zero. All right. Now let's test a 12 volt LED bulb. We connect it to the cable that we had removed and as you can see, it turns on without problems. And we are in the middle of the field and you can see that we only have our solar panel connected. There is no electrical outlet around nor any power source where we can connect this valve. And to finish the test with our solar panel, we are going to connect this small 12 volt motor as well. As you can see, it also works when we connect it. Instead of this motor, we can connect a water pump, we can connect lighting for a home, for a caravan, for a car, charge our mobile phone, a thousand different applications with our solar panel. So well, that's it. We hope you liked this video of the solar panel of 12 volts and 30 watts of power. And remember to subscribe, hit like, activate the bell, and see you on our next video, here in the Crazy Channel.